Lesuni gobi or garlicky cauliflower is a delicious Indian Chinese dish that is made in a very similar manner to gobi manchurian or cauliflower manchurian. It just leaves out the soy sauce and punches up on the garlic flavor. So let's get started with lesuni gobi. I'm going to start with my cauliflower. I am only going to use about half of the cauliflower. I need about two cups of cauliflower florette. Just chop up this one. I like to just take the core out like that. So I'm just going to take off the leaves and stems. I actually enjoy the white parts of the stem for the cauliflower. When I read Mother Joffrey's biography, she talked about how the cooks who would come and cook at her home used to make a curry out of the cauliflower leaves and stems. Okay, I'm just going to cut these into about one inch, one and a half inch florets. Right. Now I'm going to chop up the garlic. Just mash them. Then I'm just going to chop it finely. Okay, I'm going to chop up this green chili. I'm just going to do some thin slices, but you can cut it however you prefer. I have a couple of quite large scallions here. If yours are smaller, um, I'd use three. And I'm just going to cut the ends off and just slice into circles. I'm going to leave the whites on this side and I'm going to chop up the greens over here for garnish. I'm going to add the greens at the end so I'm going to store them separately until I'm ready to use them. Now I'm going to make the batter for the cauliflower. I'm using just all-purpose flour and cornstarch, uh, which is the traditional method, but I'm actually going to air fry them instead of deep frying them. Adding the flour to my bowl. I'm going to add the cornstarch to the bowl as well. Just going to whisk those together real quick. And then I'm going to um, just add my water. I have about a third of a cup of water here. And that is too, too thick. Okay, so that's about a half cup of water, maybe slightly more depending on the temperature of the day or your flour. I'm add just a little bit more to thin it out a bit. That looks good to me. It's a pretty thick batter. It's going to stick well. So now I'm going to add the other ingredients to the batter. Okay, and I'm going to add the Kashmir chili powder. Uh, I'm using granulated garlic here, but you can certainly use fresh garlic, uh, some garam masala, and a little bit of salt. Now I'm going to just whisk that in. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to add the cauliflower to the batter. I'm just going to stir that around, just give it a really good coating. And it takes a, a little bit of time to get evenly distributed, just keep stirring. Okay, this looks pretty good. So now I'm going to air fry the cauliflower. Um, like I said, you could choose to deep fry it if you like. Um, I prefer using the air fryer and I'm not using up a lot of oil and um, it's, just, it's just a lot quicker and easier in my opinion. I don't preheat 
So just, I'm going to open up the air fryer. I'm, I'm going to spray the air fryer. I'm going to arrange my cauliflower and then I'm just going to cook it. I can make a little more room over here, make sure they have some breathing room, but I can fit one more in right there. there go. Going to give it a quick spray on top. All right, so these have cooked for about 15 minutes and I did not flip them, no need. And they look really nice and crispy. So I'm just going to grab a plate and transfer them to the plate. You hear the crunch. Okay, I'm going to do this again and finish cooking all of the cauliflower. Add some oil to a pan, get it nice and hot. And add garlic. Spring onions, green chilies, a nice snack. I'm going to add the ketchup. Just a tiny splash of water. Add a little bit of salt if you like, totally optional. And then I'm going to add in my cauliflower. I'm just going to mix this until it is nice and coated. In the mixture tongs really help and there you have it lissoni cauliflower or lissoni gobi and i'm just going to transfer this to a serving bowl and garnish with green scallions and some sesame seeds